gals. Happy Monday. It's another Monday in March. Um, and today we're going to be talking about what we blogged about per usual. And we blogged about spring fashion trends. March is here. So that means like spring is near. It's right around the corner. And obviously we already know about all of the classics and all of the basics and all of the spring staples. All of them will still be here. Pastels are still here. Florals are still here. Lightweight fabrics are still here. They're never going to go anywhere. Those are our spring staples. What we're going to talk about today are some spring trends. So first up is a sneaky little shoe called the Wedge. The Wedge had a fashion week moment. I'll add a picture so that you can see. But the Wedge is back with a vengeance. It is here. It is going to be the summer sneaker. So put your sneakers to the side. The Wedge is replacing it. Put your flip-flops to the side. The Wedge is replacing it. And I think this is kind of cool because Wedges are a cool, comfortable shoe. They kind of get like mixed reviews. I feel like if you're a comfort girly or a person that kind of just wears by Wedges, you never really gave up on them. But the fashion girlies for a long time, that was just a chunky little hoof that nobody wanted to be caught dead in. And, and now they're back and they're cute. And I'm happy with that because I feel like that nobody's legs look better than like in a wedge and like a short or a bikini. Like just wedges make life much better. So they're here. They're here for the spring. If you see them, pick them up and put them on. Next up, we are going to talk about a late 60s staple. Um, if you are familiar with Twiggy, if you're familiar with Marsha Brady, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. My mom always says, Portia, Portia, Portia. But um, then you know about some of that mod fashion. Mod kind of had a moment last year, um, but it didn't really like pick up full speed. It was just a little taste of mod and then it went away. But now it is back. It is here. We are doubling down on the mod for the spring. So think ultra mini dresses, think halter tops, think anything that the inner like classic feminine disco version of you would wear. So flare pants are back. Color blocking is back. Those things will be really big this spring. And that's cool because normally in spring, it's all about solids and florals. So having that color blocking, which is normally something that's really big in like the summer or the winter because it's a heavier pattern, um, it's really cool to have it here for the spring. So if you're into color blocking, it's back. If you hate those stupid dad jeans, I love dad jeans, um, then you can wear those flare jeans. I feel like nobody looks bad in flare jeans. And the cool thing is that we are loving flare jeans in every kind of waist cut. So high waist, low waist, mid rise, ultra low, all of them are approved. It just has to be that flare. So whatever cut you like up top, whatever most flattering, you can still roll with that, which is an option that we haven't really had for a while in trend. Um, you can rock, but you just got to have the flare. And we are not talking boot cut, baby. We're talking about flare pants, okay? Um, how do you guys feel about that? I'm excited. I love flare pants. I'm a millennial. I'm from a Spice Girl era, so we rock the flare pants. Speaking of the Spice Girls, um, we're going to just get right into the next trend. And that is girl power. At least that's what I'm calling it, girl power. Um, and that is the ultra, ultra feminine vibes. So you want to think like anything that is deemed to be like super girly and very delicate. So the mo most feminine version of yourself. So we're talking butterflies, we're talking baby pinks and light blues and silk and lace and all of those like really, really feminine touches. And then we're edging it out a little bit with texture. So think 3D flowers and 3D floral patterns and um, some creping and, and just adding a little texture and weight to that feminine. So you got the girl with the colors and the fabrics and you got the power with the texture. So just put those two things together and you can get into the girl power trend. Okay. If you were around for the 90s, then um, the next trend you will be kind of familiar with, I am calling it 
preppy athleisure. Um, in the 90s, Tommy Hilfiger was like everything to everybody. And he kind of combined that preppy, you know, casual look, but put rela relaxed touches and features on it. And, and it was really popular. It went crazy everywhere. So in the 90s, everybody was dressed like some kind of bougie athlete. Like we were all playing polo in the 90s. And that's coming back. So we're moving away from um the athleisure that we've been wearing so you want to think about like the uh juicy uh juicy couture sets those velour sets we're gonna pause on them for a little bit for comfort we're gonna pause on the like legging and like matching bralettes those are gonna take a little pause and if you want to be athletic and you want to be cozy you want to be in that comfortable athletic vibe if you're an athleisure girl then you want to lean more into that preppy athleisure so Move away from like basketball, football, and move over to like tennis, water polo, croquet, golf, those kind of styles. You want to be inspired by the athletic gear from those sports and kind of make them work in the real world. So, you know, nice little skirts and skorts and relaxed, like lightweight, soft khaki pants. Those work polo shirts. Do not pop the collar though. We're not going there, okay? We're not there yet. Um, but that is another trend that we have coming up this spring. So those are the new trends that are popping up for the spring that we have to look out for and we have the opportunity to have some fun with. Um, and then we have some trends that are following us from the fall into the spring. So um, we will still be having that thin fringe. Thin fringe is here and it's staying. The metallics are still staying here, which makes sense because it gives that mod taste. It gives like that disco mod uh, collaboration that's really popular right now. And then we are also um, going to be bringing the mob wife aesthetic into the spring, which is very interesting because that is like a heavier, darker aesthetic. Um, it feels like that it is you know, dying out, but it's still hanging around for a couple more months. So if you haven't got a chance to try it out, give it a try. Um, and cause you got a little bit more time. It's, it's still popular. So what I want to know is what fashion trend are you most excited about? I am super excited for a very Brady spring. I love the Brady's. I love mod. Um, I love flare pants. Obviously I said that a million times. I'm very excited to try that. I'm also very interested in like getting more into the girl power. I am super girly, but, um, I don't really do a whole lot with texture all the time. So that's going to be fun. I want to know what you want to try, what you think we shouldn't be trying, what we should move away from, what trends did I miss, what are your favorite spring classics. Um, just let me know below. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Don't forget to share with your BFF, your best fashion friend. Um, and if you want to continue the conversation, uh, just meet me over on Instagram or on TikTok at Porsche, Porsche, that's P-O-R-S-C-H-E, P-O-R-S-H-I-A. Thank you, dolls, for coming out. Have a happy Monday. Don't forget to set your clocks forward if you haven't already did that. Bye.